Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, that's for art, and this is a quick video I'm doing for a GoFundMe page. Yes, another GoFundMe page, because this one might actually get a lot more people than the anti-nuclear movement, and I hope you will spread it around because it's for a really good cause. Uh, I got a brainstorm to set a GoFundMe page for $50,000 to give to five families in Fukushima to help them uh, for their children who have cancer, thyroid cancer. They're victims of the uh, tsunami. They've lost everything. Most of them can't even go back. They're in the Fukushima prefecture. That's why their children have cancer, even though the scientists are fucking lying to them about it. So I thought that I would set up a GoFundMe page for $50,000. And frankly, if it keeps getting refilled, if this thing takes off and goes viral, I'm sure there's more than five families in Fukushima that would love to have uh, an American group just give them $10,000. The reason I said ten, I was thinking 10000 is because I want to really help them. And they have lost everything. And now their child is being threatened. It's long-term implications. Um, and frankly... A thousand bucks helps, but it's not as good as ten. Let's just be real. We want to be able to help them. And from what I understand, Japan is much more expensive. Everything is expensive there. So that seemed reasonable. Five families, $50,000. But if we can make this go viral and really help the children of Fukushima with just helping the families and giving them money or... I don't know, whatever their needs are, it's up to them. But I think we could find five families uh, through legitimate means and give them the money, wire transfer money to them directly to Fukushima. I guess that would cost some money to do it, but maybe, you know, they get, I don't know, 9500 or 9000 is still better than nothing. So uh, I... Somebody called me out on that pretty hard, and you know what? I took that to heart because I have been working with the Post Ignorance Project for two years, investing quite a bit of money in it, uh, doing activism, making people aware, helping Kevin get out in the street. Um, but this is part of the real change that I want to have, is to really affect not just my activism, not just go out in the street and protest and go and go to events and be part of events, but to actually, that's why I'm working on the, shutting down the Columbia Generating Station, which also has a GoFundMe page to fund Radcasts. They want to buy a, a gamma spectrometer so we can set up a people's lab here in the Northwest. That's a plug for the other GoFundMe page. But here, this one, for these children, the children, 50-fold increase in thyroid cancer among the children of Fukushima. And it's yesterday's fucking news. 50-fold increase in thyroid cancer to the children of Fukushima. 50-fold increase in thyroid cancer for the children of Fukushima. And the scientists are arguing. They're like, well, we're not sure it's from Fukushima. Honestly, how they, those words can come out of their mouths is beyond me because this book, all these books by John Goffman, the science is unequivocal. Nuclear contamination from nuclear power plants, the kinds of radiation that emanates from them, the cesium-137, is attracted to the thyroid. Children are the most affected. We see a 50-fold from a nuclear disaster that's been ignored for now almost five years, folks. March is going to be, it's been ignored for five years. And they're still allowing it to call it a decontamination. It's not decontamination. It's managing a disaster that is getting worse. 50-fold increase in thyroid cancer for the children of Fukushima. So this is why I decided, you know what, I'm going to start a GoFundMe page. And I'm going to figure out a way to help some families. Not very many because, honestly, I think asking for $50,000, $10,000, $1,000 is a lot of money. But these people need our help. And guess what? There are, there are people out here who can contribute. And it just if you and those people who can contribute generally know other people who can contribute. So this could go viral and we could really get some help for the children of Fukushima. Like 
pronto, right away before Christmas, like right away before the end of the year, before it sets in and gets cold, we could help them even just buy like new boots. And I mean, if somebody had $10,000 landed on your family, what would your family do if you lost everything five years ago and was rebuilding and your child had thyroid cancer? That's what these people are up against. And they're getting a stipend from TEPCO, most likely. So I hope that this GoFundMe page will go viral because honestly, it needs. we need to help many more families than five. So put your courage feet on, please. And if you cannot contribute or if you can, contribute a little bit. Every little dollar will help. $10, $20, $50. It piles up. If we get 1,000 people giving $10, $10 each, that's $10,000. If we can get this to go viral... At $10 each, we could get $50,000 to families very quickly within a month or two. And those, they deserve it. Not just lip talk, not just, oh, isn't that really too bad? Let's try to sell a painting. I mean, Ricardo did these paintings. Nobody wants to put those in their houses. I decided to put it in mine. <laughs> so if anybody wants them, they're still for sale. So, but please... Uh, do contribute to our GoFundMe page to help the children of Fukushima because those sweet little angels really deserve it. Their families are going through uh, unimaginable pain. So, ciao, you guys. Put your courage feet on and please take action. Bye-bye.